Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. In the previous episode, we attended our first day of school and well, considering we have to go again tomorrow, we should probably go to bed. Someone <laughs> You saved me. Thanks. Um Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. That guy's a nerd, isn't he? <laughs> okay, won't be too uh, harsh on Yosuke, but... <clears throat> oh god, I have to mentally prepare myself for this voice, guys. Give me a second. Be quiet, idiots! You guys are in high school, aren't you? No, duh! Can you shut your traps? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you... <laughs> I can't even keep it. I'll string you up, you run attitude, while I'm at it. And I'm gonna especially hard on you morons that's curious about murder. Got it? Now get your books out! You listen to the lecture intently, and you increase your knowledge by one point. Neat. So? You getting used to this place? Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain... something you can't get anywhere else. The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here! Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... 
can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. <laughs> he wishes. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh! You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Ho oh, ho! The flame of forbidden love! Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. Been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me?
details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Ugh, an interview with a kid? Ugh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? <sighs> we'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> no? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Dojima's just... I like a lot. I guess he was tired, and when I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his room. Oh, well, okay. Seems Nanako's actually pretty, uh, you know, pretty mature for her age, even though she's only in the first grade, and yeah, there's still nothing in the fridge. What else is new? And Dojima's sleeping. It's probably, yeah, it's probably best if we leave him alone. There really isn't too much to do at night, which is kind of a bummer, so and yet again, I guess we'll go to bed, and you were reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of the Midnight Channel. Thanks for reminding me. Well, there's really no way I could have forgotten, but... <laughs> you can hear it's raining outside, and it's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could she a story be true? Well, only one way to find out.
Are you okay? Okay. Well, good night. Well, that was weird, huh? Sorry. Not really sure I'm going to explain that to people. And hey, Chie, uh, what's going on? Chie forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> okay. I uh, did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the move. <laughs> Come on, Chie. By the way, did you see it? Well, I did, actually. But what exactly are you talking about? You know, the thing we were talking about yesterday. The Midnight Channel. Yeah? Mmm... Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We should probably get to school. And we'll just, you know, walk at a moderate pace. Uh, but something appears to be wrong. It's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but... We're pretty close here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and run the rest of the way. Well... <laughs> Well, I'll race to you, come on! <laughs> I really like that option, by the way. Huh? Uh, we're, we're, we're both gonna run through the rain? What's the point of that? Besides, it's not like I wanted to make a break for it. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, it kind of makes it sound like you <laughs> did, and <laughs> I'm worrying too much. I'll keep going with you anyway. Come on. Okay, alright, let's go. Kind of an awkward exchange with Chie, I don't... See what the problem was there, but hey, it seems like we made it to school anyways, and... Oh boy! Hello, everyone! My name is Kimiko Sophie, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert! First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. Okay, Miss Sophie. In, in fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It has born in the past and flows ever forward. It's kind of a weird way of putting it. I hope we can all enjoy the profoundly of history together. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transfer E, Mr. Narukami. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand... Okay, I, I won't make... Eminem reference. <laughs> the Western calendar. Oh crap! I skipped. Well, uh, the answer is zero A. Actually, no, it's one A B C, isn't it? Yeah. It's basically just asking us what was before one A D called. And <gasps> you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, zero A D would be the natural assumption. But world history is much different. The Jejorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the number zero. That's why, when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully, that was a nice introduction to world history. Neato! What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y yo Um... It's, a, uh, It's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, 
but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the? We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> It's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ugh, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! Inside? Wh what do you mean, empty space? Wh what do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't 
Oh, hold it! Anymore! Shit! Customers! They're coming! What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! What are we gonna do? Wait! Whoa! right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? My butt's cracked now. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man. This place is huge. What are we going to do? Huh? But, but look, we need to get home and Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in. Or out! What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know! Don't ask me! I can't take this anymore. I want to go home! Okay, so how? You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Mm, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. I can't hold it any longer! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding! Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! 
I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there! What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! W what are you? You want to fight? D don't yell at me like that. A bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it! Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey! What are you doing? S stop pushing! Huh? Is this... Did we... make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. 
I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Hey, welcome home. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. And on that note, I think it's pretty much as good a time ever to end this episode off of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. But before we go, let's see what Nanako has to say. People are sick. Yeah, I should probably go to bed early. Yeah, good idea, Nanako. In the next episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, I'm going to go to bed. And I'm going to go to bed too, in real life. So see you guys next time. Bye.